guys, we now got the new Gujitsus. Season four, the X-ray. Wow. Jacob didn't like that intro. Okay, we'll do it again. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Guys, we got the all new Gujitsu Series 4, the Dino X rays. Woo! You can see right through them, see their bones. And we got all seven of them. Unlike the previous series, Series 3, where they came out with five, the Ultra was Braxor, and you had to wait for the other two, Shreds and Verraps. I mean, you had to wait until they came out with the two a month or two later. But now, all seven of them are here, guys. And we even got the Ultra Rare Smash Dawn. Super cool. He glows in the dark. Well, we'll go over them one by one, okay, guys? Let's begin with the first. Okay, guys, the first one I want to go over is Thrash. And before we actually take a deep look at him here, let's go over the origins of him. You know, the first Thrash that we started out with in Season 1. What did he look like? You guys remember? Flashback! Okay, guys, this is the origins of him. First of all, we'll start over here with Series 1. Uh, sometimes I refer to him as Seasons. But in any case, Series 1, you see what it looked like this was thrash and what's cool about him is that you got well an insignia on him the paw print that means he was a good guy and he came with a total of 13 to collect in fact you can see on the back there's a total of 13 i mean now we're you know settling for about seven still pretty cool but man it'd be cool if they had you know 13 15 20 you can get in just one season and you know what else was cool about series one guys that you couldn't find in any of the other series was look at his shoulder right there can you see his shoulder he's got like a treat in there that gave him a super goo power either that or slipoma you can see as we go on that this was still series one but they came out with glow in the dark thrash right there you know battling rock jaw they both glow in the dark and you can see also on his shoulder right there he's got another treat see if you want to watch my 15 heroes of gajitsu we go through and we show you all the treats and we also cut them open too so you can actually see the treats because some of them their skin you couldn't see through and so you couldn't see the treat you're just guessing and feeling uh, broccoli well that's not a treat but hey for maybe somebody it is now you go on to series two and then in this series the ultra rare was the hydra and this one this one was the water blast so you can actually squeeze your heads and just shoot water. And then the next series, which was series three, you have the new Chomp Attack. And you got a total of seven action figures that was included across series three. The Ultra Rare was Braxer. And you can see he's got a little hula skirt. Guys, think of it this way. You're starting off in series one here. He's getting middle-aged now. He's getting older now. He's bones. And the next one that's coming out was series five. What happens to dinosaurs when they die? They turn to oil. And so the next one will be all black goo. So guys, now let's go ahead and focus on him, our thrash. Dino X-ray, Dino X-ray, because now you can see right through to him. He's now bones. He says right up there, see my bones. See my bones, see my bones. And then on the back, um, there you go. Seven action figures with unique goo feelings, and it's available across Series 4. And we got all seven of them. So like I said, they're not holding back. Moose has given us all seven. That's awesome. And so this one right here is the Megalodon. And he looks cool just in the picture. You can see his bones right there. And you can see the others that you can collect. Total of six there, including the Ultra Rare Smash Shadon. Parents, you know, it's good to go over this with your kids and stuff. Do not heat or microwave. Do not bite or pierce. Do not leave in direct sunlight. And then it goes over, you know, handling instructions and excessive stretching and tying them in knots, wearing them out faster you might break them even sooner and guess what guys you can see right in the back i didn't notice that look down at the bottom you got these paws that means he's a good guy and you know what let's pause for a minute because i want to flip over to the front can you see his paws there on his belly now what's different about these guys is they have no clothes <coughs> even in series one they were serious about getting him some like loincloth skivvies on he doesn't have any clothes because it's dino x-ray and you see through his clothes what would it matter now everybody's superman everybody can see through these dinos now you don't need special x-ray vision oh and then on the back the content of what's inside just on the back of all their heads all new material content gel synthetic rubber so i guess the bones are rubber <laughs> rubber bones we want solid bones something that a dog can seek his teeth into and be proud of so let's go ahead and open this up and the best way to open this up i find you know you could tear it apart but i like to keep the packaging for reference you know kind of I'm a collector, so I'm gonna try to open it. Oh, you got tape on the side, so I got my little knife. Just gonna slice through that part right there. And there's a little piece of tape on the side right here. Um, remember, cut away your bleed circle. Make sure nobody's around. You can learn that in Scouts. Oh, there we go. Okay, and uh, now we just got these plastic grippers right here that we have to tear off. Okay, then this is, it destroys the plastic. <laughs> I'll never be able to put it back together again. Hey, even Humpty Dumpty had some problems. See, look at that, it's just stretching the plastic. Uh, he looks cool. He doesn't open his yapper, but look at his head. You can totally see through that thing. And you see his head? Totally clear. And you can see even clear on the back of his head right there too. And then what about his bones? Can you, see, you guys see the front of his bones right there? And all the air bubbles in there, I'm guessing. Here, let me take a look at the camera around here. Oh yeah, wow. His bones are sliding. <laughs> You can feel his bones. Here, let's see if we can really get something. Oh, there you go. 
Oh man, and you can see all the outer bubbles, so it looks like clear plastic gel, nothing fancy there. But man, those bones, and it's totally rubbery. Uh, his backbone, his spine's a little bit sharp, so I assume if you kept rubbing like this over time, you're just gonna rub it, especially in the same place, a hole into your skin here, although the skin seems pretty thick. Hey, this is great for STEM research, you know, parents, if you're like, hey, let's learn about the bones. And of course, he doesn't have his phalanges. Uh, he's got no bones up there, but he's, you know, he's got his ribs. There we go. Can you stretch up to three times? Yes, he can. You know what? These gujitsus, they're still stretchable, still super fun. And does he stand? Eh, no. It's just like one big rubber plastic thing of bones. That it floats freely. I mean, you can squish it down to the bottom. You can kind of squish it over to the side. I don't know if you could like, you can actually put it up in his arm like that. You can really see the bones. Look at that. Now we got to do our capring. Does he fly very far? Eh, that was kind of wimpy. Nah, he just went... So there we go, we got a good guy. He's got his insignia right there. He's a paw dude, he's on Paw Patrol. So guys, hey, we got these little stands to hold up the characters that are for more for dolls, but I thought, hey, you know what, I put it together. In fact, if you look at it, it's holding up by his head. Looks like he's got braces on, but hey, you know, you can see him now. Alex, cool, he looks spiffy. He's on that catwalk. I do my shake, my little bones on the catwalk. Blazagon. Uh, okay, guys, uh, I just had a trip back in time. It's like uh, one of those weird things, like having amnesia and deja vu at the same time. Well, I just went back in time to show you guys, hey, look, this is series one of Blazagon. Here's the origins to where we finally got to him with the bones before he dies and kills over and turns into oil. We got series one. Now, he started off, and this was in the one with, you know, frostbite, and they have a total of 13 you can collect. So, he, you know, look at him. He looks pretty cool, Blazagon. And then they super gooed him, made him huge, where he can actually talk. <laughs> Ah, and he lights up too. Awesome. And then you go over to series two, which we have the water blast attack here. So we got two different kinds. I mean, you got them in the two pack, Golden Blazagon versus a Rock Chaw. And what's cool about these guys is you get them paired up with a dude that you wouldn't have gotten just by himself here. And then you've got Blazagon. And then you go over to series three and you've got, here's the series, Dino Power, the original with Blazagon. And then he came in a two pack, which is uh, the Volcanic Rumble. So you have Redback, well, he's Purpleback, but the spider, his name is Redback, but they changed into Purple and they got Blazagon, which is looks like he's in fiery orange. Super cool. So there you go. There's a series three here. It was the ultra rare Braxer, the Brachiosaurus. And then you got him. He finally evolved to bones or devolved to bones. Okay, so let's take a look at the front here. You can see right there, Blazagon. He's uh, super stretchy. So let's take a look at the other side here. And you can see that it is Blazagon. He's a dragon. And then you can see the back of his head, the contents that's inside of him. All new material. Okay, content, gel, synthetic rubber. So again, I bet we're going for rubber bones. And then on the back also, you can see he's got a good paw right there. So he's a good guy. Now, you know, if you know your uh, gujitsus, he's always been a good guy. He's cool. So far, I really like Thrash. I mean, that just the colors look awesome and the yellow bones, but I think I'm gonna like Blazagon just as much. If I'm careful, I don't have to use a knife and I can just kind of use my finger to kind of get in there. It does pretty well. Yeah, he's got that stretchy stuff and his bones seem to be stretchy, rubbery too. In fact, I wonder, could you do that on him? Pull his bones apart? That's interesting. His bones are like, they're hard to pull apart. They don't pull apart easy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just like boing, boing. It's like sperm rubber. But on him, Blazagon, look at the bones. Look at that. It actually pulls apart. Pull apart Scooby Snacks. You could totally pull his bones off. It takes like mammoth like strength. Guys, let's fire him up. You wanna see what he looks like here? Oh, well, there's his bones. Kinda looks creepy. Looks like a little bit like aliens inside of him, a spider. You see his bones, x-ray. And so let's just stretch him. Oh, look at his bones. His bones actually stretch with it. Where Thrash, he doesn't give. He's got his little paw again, right on his belly button. He is a good guy. He can preying pretty well. Now, not as much as our Thrash. Okay, cool guys. Now let's take a look at Tyro. Where did he come from? What's his origins? He was introduced back in series three. And so that was the Dino Power. Well, you have the original here, Tyro, the T-Rex. And then he got into an Arctic showdown with Giga Tusk. And so his colors changed. You know, you can see the difference between the two. He's cooler in this one. No, really, he's cold. After that, they super good him. And you can open his mouth and he talks. So there you go. Tyro, the T-Rex, introduced in Series 3. We're in Series 4 here. And so this is what we're looking at right now. He's super gooey. He's super gooey. Ow. And then you can see on the back that he's Tyro, the T-Rex. You can see the back of his head, what he's made out of. Content, gel, synthetic rubber. So I wonder if he's going to be a stretchable. 
Now Tyro goes off. He's just growling over in the corner. He's hungry. I mean, look at him now. He's all nothing but bones. And let's not forget, he's got the paw. He's a good guy. Woo! Take my finger. Try to go long smooth. Oh, he slides out if I can do it right. Hey, he's stretchable. I can put him back in and seal him back up and tape him. He's good to go. There you go. There's his paw right there. Cool. And how's he looking? And you see his bones pretty clear. And I love their heads, how you can see through them. That's pretty cool. And how about his uh, bones? You know what? I think his bones are stretchy too. Yep, look at that. See his bones? Oh, we got a bone loose. Doctor, doctor, stat, stat. I actually broke it because his other one's connected. Look at that. See his other one's connected? If I keep pulling, this is what you don't do. Oh, see, I just broke that one. Oh, I'm going to get some comments. You monster. I'm like, these guys are monsters. <laughs> Maybe I could disconnect his rib cage or his thigh bone. I think I can do it. I mean, that's what we're here for is to test. We're a toy testing company, right? <laughs> we're not even inked. <laughs> oh, that takes a lot of strength to keep that up. Oh, there there goes his thigh bone. <laughs> Tyra's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> get me out of Adventure Fun. Get me out. You know, it's like Toy Story, the first one, where that mean kid tears him apart and puts fireworks on, blows him up and stuff. I'm not like him. I'm really not. I'm a good guy. Except when he's naughty, then I pull his tail. Oh. All right. Well, he's corn syrupy, so he's not going to put... Man, his bones are way out there. You see that? <laughs> Uh, I could, could try to capring him, but with this corn syrup, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> Only thrash is capringable. Okay, guys, so the next one we want to cover is shreds. And as you recall, he was first introduced back in Series 3. There you go, guys. This was when he was first introduced back in Series 3, the Ultra Wars Braxer. And they only released five of the seven that they had available in Series 3. I know, it was horrid. And he was the one of the two that they didn't release until a couple months later, along with Verapps. So they brought him back now into Series 4. And by the way, guys, while we still have him, I couldn't tell if he was a bad dude. You wouldn't know if you didn't watch the Gujitsu series by looking at him, because the other ones, they had paws and they had bad insignias on him evil and things like that but guess what they have on him now they actually marked him they don't have the paw he has this on his belly i'll show you dun, dun, dun. the skull and then there you go guys also on the back down in the corner he's got a skull so now we met our first bad dude here of the gujitsus how many more bad dudes do we have we'll find out but while we're up here you can look at the front you can see that he's super oozy there you go you want to know who shreds is he's a spinosaurus and he does have a spine Oh, he's cool. I'm liking him already. Wow. So if you look at him, I love his purple head. And he's got a little red horn. And then, God, let's take a look. Yeah, his bones, they don't stretch. They're just like thrash. They do not stretch. So let's do the flashlight first. You can see the skull right there. See that? That's right on his belly. He's a bad dude. Oh, and then we've got to look at the back, what he's made out of. Gel synthetic rubber. You guys see any better there? Is it on the insignia? But his bones are hard to see. But they're cool bones. They look like they're fluorescent bones. Yeah, they they are pink. Hey, I didn't know Spinosaurus was a gal. Oh, that's great. He said that gals can't have fun with these uh, gujitsus. In fact, he got comments. Girls enjoy these as much as us dudes. And uh, that's awesome. This I can't pull apart. I mean, I could try. Oh, no, there he's been fused. Oh, he, he'll compring. He'll he'll go far. Yes, you are an evil dude. You shall go far. Yep, five six feet. He's gone. He's off to do various things. And guess what, guys? That's what you're gonna get for Christmas. You're a bad boy. You're gonna get him. You're gonna get shreds. You gotta be nice to get something naughty. We got the aquamarine and the fire and blaze side versus the cool blue and purple. Okay, guys. Now they've done a makeover with our tri tops. You can see up at the top, he's super goopy. It's cool because he's got these gold flecks in him, it looks like. You can see right there on the back of his head, plastic film, synthetic rubber. Jurassic name, which is Triceratops, and casual name, and it's Tritops. He's a good guy. So when you see paws, he's good. Oh, let's just pull him out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It flies around. Look at the gold. It's a snow globe. You guys are living your own snow globe of a world, man. Everything's gold to you. Everything comes easy. I love it. And you can see his bones. What color are his bones? Blah. That's cool. I think Tri Top so far tops my list of the uh, Series 4. You get the bones. You get the gold glitter. I wonder if he's going to be as close to the Mastodon, the Ultra Rare. Where he's not Ultra Rare, but Rare. I'm not sure how many of these he's going to have, but I'll tell you. In Series 3, he was hard to find. In fact, 
I digress, didn't I? So here it was, Series 3. That's where he first got introduced. He was with the Dino Power, the Chomp Attack. So Shreds and Verraps didn't come out until a couple months later, but Tritops was always there in the beginning with the first five, but he was still hard to find. You know, in a case, you only had one where like with Blazagon and Tyrell, you had two or three or quite a few of them. And look at that, guys. Has he changed much? Well, he's got his yellow horns. He doesn't have his duds on because you got to see his bones, but he's got gold glitter. I really like him. You know what? As far as a collector goes, I think these are the ones to get here. And his bones, blue. I love that. And no, I can't break his bones. His bones are like the other bones. They're really, oh, well, maybe. Oh, geez. He's just holding on a thin line right there. You could possibly break his bones, but they're really hard. Does that help at all? Here, let's see it. Because not only does it feel kind of cool to squeeze, but when you do squeeze it, you get eye candy. Yeah. You get to see all the little gold glitters there that go around and around and around. New to Series 4. Never seen him before. It's the Pterodactyl Tarak. And so you can see that he's scrunchy. Oh, I'm excited to open him up. What makes him scrunchy? Because you know what? The other bones are is scrunchy, right? But now, is he a good guy or is he a bad guy? Let's take a look at his belly. I don't know if you can see right there. Kind of a dead giveaway if you just go to the store and look at the front. But if not, you can always look at the back. He's a bad dude. And then you can see up at the top, he's a pterodactyl. Short name is Tarak. And then on the back of his head, you can see what he's made up of inside. Gel synthetic rubber. Tarax. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Oh my goodness. He's slippery. Those bones are very slippery all over the place. And it's scrunchy. I can't tell what makes it scrunchy. I think there's nothing in there but just glycerin. They do feel scrunchy. Uh, I don't dare break them. <laughs> Let's take a look. Can you see that? Here, I'll try to like stretch them open more. Green bones. I don't know. It kind of smells like rubber cement a little bit. Let's try to squeeze his back. Yeah, look at all his air bubbles. That's cool bones. He's got some nice bones. Ah, oh, yeah, he does feel scrunchy, just the bones. I don't know why, but the bones feel... Oh, I put his bones upside down. I flipped his bones around. Let me turn his bones over so they're back. Oh, yeah, you can actually flip his bones around. Yeah, I, I know you can feel the bones inside of him, but when I feel him, this one, he just feels a little bit firmer and more rubbier. So they may have firmed up the texture of the bones here, so it feels more just like you just... Oh, listen to that. It's like you're cracking your bones. <laughs> it does. It's got some sort of firmer texture for Tarak than these other guys here. Why would you like get your nose into his face? He's got the bigger nose. His nose will be in your face even more. For the one we've been waiting for, or I've been waiting for, the ultra rare, super cool Mastodon Smashodon. But you know what? He reminds me of Giga Tusk. Isn't Giga Tusk a Mastodon? Let's go back in time. So guys, just to geek out on you a little bit, what's the difference between the Mammoths and the Mastodon? If you guys know, quick, no cheating, no looking up on the internet like I did. These are the Mammoths. This was Giga Tusk, and he was introduced back in Series 2. Skip Series 3. Now he's got the Water Blast attack. So who is bigger, the Mammoth or the Mastodon? Line. Camera mom printed it out for me so I can look smart and well educated. <laughs> Mastodons were shorter and stockier than mammoths with shorter straight tusks. Mammoths were grazers. Their molars have flat surfaces for eating grass. Mastodons were wood browsers and their molars have pointed cones, especially adapted for eating wood browse. What's a wood browse? I don't know. Wood eaters, grass eaters. That's all I know. So guys, let's take a look at the front. So he's the ultra rare, right? And you can see what makes him ultra rare. Besides that, they say he's ultra rare. Exclusive glow in the dark bones. Woo! You glow, Mastodon. And then you can see that on the back, he got his uh, insignia. So he's a good guy. He's got the paws. And then up at the top, there you go. You got his Jurassic name. It's Mastodon. And he's ultra rare. His nickname is the Smashodon. Of course, he's not as big as the Mammoths, but still, he packed a lot of power. You know, eating wood will do that for you. And then you can see on the back of his head there, he's plastic film, synthetic rubber. Plastic film. So does he have like flecks of like glitter in him? So here I go, guys. The ultra rare, going to open him up and his his value is going to tank. It's going to go down from about what? 150 bucks on eBay, $200 now down to like 25 cents. Oh yeah, we do this so you don't have to. So you can just keep yours in the plastic the whole time and just look at him staring at it every night. Mastodon, he's so prim, he's pristine. Mastodon, I can keep him forever. Mastodon, he's so good. You know, in Home Alone 2, Kevin was telling this lady, he goes, you know, your heart's like roller skates. You keep them all pristine, but you never take them out. You don't get used to it. Sure, you get broken. Sure, you wear out the skates, but you know, you had fun instead of keeping them up there and never trying.
skating and never using them, never having fun. And that's what we're doing here. Oh, that's right. Camera mom says and outgrowing the skates. Well, look at me. Have I outgrown this? I don't think so. Guys, with the technology we're coming up these days, you guys' kids have cooler toys than I did when I was just a wee bit of a lad. And, you know, that's why you got older guys like us who out there just watching this video like me saying, hey, this is cool stuff. I'm collecting it, you know. Besides, you know, when kids aren't looking, you're just like, oh, man, that's super cool. I feel so good. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I bet a lot of, like, office desks have those out there. Just pass them around, you know. Hey, what do you feel like today? Track? You're evil. It's like, give him a squeeze, give him a squeeze, give him a squeeze. Oh, with each tear, there goes a butt. <laughs> He can slip, he can slide. Yay! Oh man, I gotta look at him first, treasure this moment. Oh wow. And you can see it more clearly on the back of his head. What's he made out of? His head's blue and he's got the glitter in him. The bones, God. If I break the bones on the ultra rare, I'll really get some nasty comments. <laughs> so. Oh look, he's got glitter. I bet that's what that plastic film is. And I just wanna see if his bones, no, his bones are pretty firm. So let's see, let's pop it open here. Oh look, he's got snow glitter. He looks cool. Oh, wow, I love that. So the only one, other one who does that is our tri-tops. And he's got gold glitter versus the snow. How much can I get up there? Can I really get him to glitter? Oh, that's cool. It's like frozen. If Olaf would hear, he says, oh, I like that. And I like warm hugs, but you scare me. You're all bones, put on some clothes. We just want to do the genesis, the origins of the ultra rares in series one, two, three, and four. So in series one, where they came out with 13, you can see on the back, that was cool. Back in the first day of Gujitsu's, they had 13 you could collect and one is the ultra rare. So I guess that made him even more ultra, ultra rare versus the other ones where you just have to, you know, find one in seven versus one in 13. So there's Frostbite super cool for series one series two hydra and then series three the brachiosaurus braxer oh he glows in the dark too so we'll have to do that we'll have to fire him up but can you guys see anything see his bones light blue yeah. just cool blue so guys should we have him glow in the dark let's just see how far he stretches so he's the ultra rare cool and i wonder being in the ultra rare and it glows in the dark the bones are supposed to glow according to the package there we'll take a look at the bones i wonder if his head will glow i bet his head will glow too okay let's fire him up and uh let's take him to the dark side so guys we're firing him up we're getting light all over him we're trying to get it through his bones right there okay ready three two one Oh, he does glow his bones and his head <laughs> his head glows <laughs> almost there with his ears he looks like dumbo it's starting to fade but his head's glowing still bright oh you can see his bones there oh wow that's awesome can you see that still it's kind of like fading his head's just like bright it's on fire and you can see the glitter on the bones let me try this again guys let me actually fire up the bones now towards the top and let's see if we can get that to shine even brighter three two one yeah the bones wow you can really see it on the back there look at that that's uh, cool. And now just like normal. Yeah, he glows. He glows good. In fact, so yeah, guys, another videos that we did with black lights with things that glow in the dark, they glow even better. So you got the bright light doesn't charge them up like the black light does because watch this. Yeah, he's fired up pretty good with that black light. It just seems to charge up those uh, glow in the dark particles. We'll start with Tyro. Anything? Okay, his teeth. Now what about shreds? Woo, his pink. He's ready to go to those glow parties. He's a glow stick. <laughs> he's cool. And then to rack, nothing to rack about. And then we got our tritops. Yeah, a little bit of the glittery gold. And then thrash, oh, his head, his head really pops. And blazagon, no, maybe the yellow. And then of course we got our mastodon. Glow with what you know, it's our mastodon. And even if you don't get the one, the ultra rare with the mastodon, if you can get shreds, oh man, you can still have fun with the black light. Please click on one of these videos for more than some fun.